everyone, Sophia here for my great challenge. This is another Aldi haul. I am on my phone. Hey, Willy! The new Pokemon games are coming out. The what? New Pokemon games are coming out. Oh, uh, okay. All right. Well, Christmas, yeah? Okay. All right. So here we go. $136. We just got the stuff we really, really needed. Um... I didn't organize them. So as usual, that Parmesan chicken, we got two packs of that. And then more of the stuff for Scott's burrito. And he agreed he was going to do the recipe, but we're not doing it tonight because tonight we are going to the national competition for band because Edward is uh, playing in band, in uh, marching band. So we're not going to do burritos tonight. We're having pizza. Um, cat food. All right, nothing new. If it's new, I'll show you. All right. We got grits because I really like them and I haven't made grits in a long time. I love them with butter, a little bit of salt and cheddar cheese on it. And then you remember last time I got the tikka masala? We bought two new jars. I sliced or cubed chicken breast and sauteed it with garlic and onions. And then I added this and I let it simmer for a good half an hour. It was delicious. It's a little spicy, but just a little bit spicy so it's not overwhelming with spices. I got this that's brand new. This is a cranberry almond chicken salad. It's not a big jar, but it looks really, really good. And for a quick sandwich, yummy. Uh, salad. Okay, moving on. Oh, this is new. Um, butter brie cheese. And it's actually pretty soft. So I'm expecting that it will be decent. If it tastes like cardboard, I'll let you know. Okay, that's for the burritos. Scott's gonna make that sometimes this week. Bacon, we already have that. Okay, so these are new too. Compared to the other uh, ones, I got two packs of that Harvest Blend. And this is wholesome blend of freshly harvested grain, butternut squash, and kale with our own unique mix of spices. I got two of these. And then I got two of these. These are wheat berry blend with curry. And this is a wholesome blend of grains and vegetable with our own unique mix of curry spices. That looks really, really good too. So I can't wait to try that um, as a side for the week. More of that Parmesan chicken. Okay, I don't know how that got into the uh, um, shopping cart. I swear, I don't. Okay, truffles. Yeah. And those, I don't know how they got there either. I don't even know what they are, matter of fact. That tells you. I think they are either cranberry or blueberries. They are cranberry covered with chocolate. Oh, my God. Okay. I finally got my way this time around. We got the French vanilla coffee. Uh, the cookies for the kids. That's the usual. Oh, these were delicious. We started eating them in the store. These are those... Um, Dutch waffles that have the caramel in it. Oh my god, they are so good. Um, and then the regular chocolate that we uh, buy. All right, so this is Willy cereals, Willy bread, um, more of the sourdough bread that we buy all the time, and we got orange juice. These are the pizzas from Aldi. They are really good and super big. This is the Meat Lovers Pizza, and this is the cheese um, pizza. So we're going to have that for lunch before we go to the national competition because we got to drive a good hour and a half to get there. And then um, this is the chicken breast that I have to cube for the chicken masala. And I have these as well. These are eggplant melange. That's what they call it. So it's basically, it's ratatouille. All right, so I got two packs of that. And here's another one of the wheat berry with curry. And I got, I went back to the ones that have the chocolate. Remember last week I told you I couldn't find them? Well, they finally have them in stock again. And I like those much better. The other ones were good, but I like this much better. It feels um, a little bit more hearty for some reason. All right, so these are the protein bars. These are the squeezable apple juice. We got some butter and then some whole wheat pasta and fat-free half and half. And if you're wondering, this is two grams of sugar for two tablespoons. So one gram of sugar per tablespoon. That's it. That's all we got. Um, I think it's a little bit more money than the trip from last week. But that's because we added a lot of costly items like the cheese and the cranberry almond um, chicken salad. All right. So just to give you a heads up, I'm on vacation 
from the 14th to the 18th of November, somewhere around, yeah, that week, okay, starting the 14th, so I'm going to try to do daily vlogs, I am not promising because I got a ton of stuff to do outside of the home, I have to go get my fingerprinting for my license, I have to, this, um, um, I have a doctor's appointment, and what else do I have? A bunch of stuff, okay? So I'm gonna try to film every day and do daily stuff. Um, if I don't, I don't. There's things that I wanna do in the house, like little, little projects. Like I gotta finish the floor for the bathroom and I have to fix the doorbell, things like this. So there's gonna be more videos. I'm way behind on my schedule for the French videos. I'm still editing the one where we go to my house in Normandy. <laughs> so that tells you I'm really behind you guys, okay? So that's what's going on. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new. I guess I will see you in the next video. And all the um, whole, if you tried that chicken salad with the cranberry and almond, let me know if you like it down below as well as the vegetable blends. And then when I do the next um, trip to Aldi, I think the camera is shaking a lot because I'm on my phone, okay? When I do the next trip to Aldi, I will let you know how I like them, okay? All right, talk to you later, guys. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. The opera is about to begin.
Yeah. <laughs>